Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'm Bob Polinski, Master of Wine. Today's video is a brief one, but I'm going to start out by using the combination of words that I never expected to say again, and that is today's video is about a very worthwhile value from Burgundy. The topic is going to be about Centenay. So let's set the bar right out of the gate. Burgundy prices are insane. The demand is at record high levels. The production is very low. It's one of the world's most iconic wine regions. This is what's driving the narrative. About 25, maybe 30 years ago, I drank Santenay just every now and then. I opted for the much more prestigious regions within Burgundy. I've gone back and I've retasted several Santenays over the last few weeks, and I'm convinced the quality coming out of that region today is better than it's ever been in its history. Santenay sits in the southern part of the Côte de Bonne. It's adjacent to Chassaigne Montrachet. Within Santenay, about 80% of the production is red wine, 20% of it is white. There's very distinctive limestone soil in that region. In terms of Grand Cru's, there are none, but there are a good number of Premier Cru's. And at the village level, there can be some excellent wines as well. In terms of price points, they're going to start in that low 30 range in the U.S., and they're going to tick up from that point. As is expected with Pinot Noir, the color density of the wines are not going to be all that deep, but they have tremendous character. The best examples will have a pronounced cherry and red fruit characteristic. There's an elegance, there's a refinement to the wines. Generally, the alcohol levels are going to be 13, 13, 5, so kind of a moderate level in terms of, of alcohol. The key is the acidity. The acidity on good Santenay will extend all the way from the front to the back palate, in effect, it really forms the backbone of the wine and helps to give it some longevity. Good examples can easily age 8 to 10 years, but they're very appealing when they're first released as well. The example that I'm going to open in just a moment is a 2019 Santenay Viervin from Justin Giardin. This is a family name. It's long established in Burgundy. There's several producers with this name. Uh, the name goes back about 700 years to the region. This is the Old Vine Cuvée. Uh, I've had a chance to taste through the entire range from uh, Justin Giardin. Very good values all throughout that range. Value is relative in Burgundy, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Very good examples of what the wine should be. In terms of this Santenay, I think this is just spot on for what this should be. I need to slip my glasses on, otherwise I'm, I'm not going to be able to give this a good look. Uh, the color density looks actually rather, rather solid. Uh, the core is moderately deep. You do get some fade as you get out to the rim of the glass. No surprise there. But that rim shows none of that, that tawny color to it. It looks very youthful and vibrant. Wow, what a wonderful aroma on this wine. Red fruit galore. It has that deep cherry character, some strawberry fruit, very pronounced. I mean, good intensity on the aromatics. There's no alcohol heat whatsoever. Uh, there's a little bit of a spice component. It reminds me a bit of something like, uh, like Asian Five Spice. Beautiful aromatics. On the palate, absolutely very, very good. Round, weighty, rich, good length. It has presence that carries right through. Very soft, subtle style wine. There's a vibrancy to this wine. You can tell it's only a few years old. Also, the structure of it, it's got some, some backbone. There's some heft there as well. Leads me to believe that, yes, this wine could age for 8 to 10 years from the vintage with really no trouble Beautiful wine, and this is just one example of what you can find in Santenay. With the other uh, examples that I've provided, search them out. These are generally very small production wines, and if you can't find any of the options that I've provided, at the very least, look for the 2019 vintage. It's a brilliant vintage. Most of the wines are showing very well, and odds are you're going to get a good example of, of what Santenay should be. As a bit of a side note with this wine, uh, this producer, Justin Giardin, and which is also common with a good number of producers in Burgundy, they're using organic methods. He's using uh, biodynamic methods as well. And whether you believe that actually drives quality and it's important, well, that's certainly your own personal preference. In my opinion, 
Producers who do use these types of methods tend to be uber focused on fruit quality. And I believe you when know, you have that, that raw material that is in very good shape, your chance of making excellent wines are greatly improved as well. So I think in terms of, of having good fruit quality, this is absolutely outstanding. Also, this is another uh, point we haven't discussed much on this channel, but what uh, Giardin focuses on is a lot of clonal diversity within the vineyard as well. And simply by all, all I mean by that is these are subtle mutations that take place naturally with grapevines. In this case, we're talking about Pinot Noir, but it adds subtlety, it adds some nuance and interest to the wines. Don't know if that's actually driving uh, what I'm picking up in this wine, but from start to finish, this is absolutely a, a beautiful, beautiful glass of wine. I thank you for staying to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have some friends or colleagues that are interested in wine, share this channel. It would be most appreciated. I'm going to be drinking well tonight. I hope you are too. And until next time, I'll see you somewhere out in the wine world. Cheers.